Stitch Do It. It's 11.18 p.m. September 27, 2018. And we're looking at Rush Fan 9 THCMD's YouTube channel. And he did a video this morning called Here's the Capture Digi. And what I did was, it was from the coloradostate.edu website. And here's what I did. I'm going to show you guys. It was from the Himawari 8 side. So I went to the GOES East satellite at Colorado State. Went over here. And the satellites, I clicked Himawari 8. Then I went down here to the archived imageries. And I picked the beginning date all the way back as far as it'll give you. September 23rd. Set it on double zeros for midnight. And double zeros again, that would be midnight. Then for the end date, I set it on the 28th, which would be to today, the current time. It would be 2 o'clock UTC at 2 o'clock UTC. Okay, so now we're on the Himawari 8 side. And I got the archived imagery set as back as far as we could go. Now, the first thing I did was set it on the shortwave window band. All right. Now, all the pages I'm about to show you have already been set up like this. So, I'm going to go ahead and start start with, uh, what RushFan showed me. RushFan caught this at 0330 UTC on the Himawari 8 side on September 27th. And I suggested maybe about an hour later, see if it's on the other side. So, what I did was I clicked forward some time and I'm going to try to show you over there there's a dark patch over there you can't see you can't see anything uh, no real image so oftentimes what I'll do is I'll click to the cloud particle size band which there it is at 330 and I'm going to go over here and click it forward to the same time 440 as well. see okay see so it shows up at 440 on the cloud particle size but not on the uh, shortwave window band but here's another good image this is 3 30 a.m september 27th i'm gonna click it forward this is natural fire color i'm gonna click it forward 3 40 3 50 3 or 4 a.m 4 10 4 20 4 20 4 30, 4 40 okay now you can't really see that maybe but it barely shows up but the reason I set the archived imagery is because of this. I wanted to see what other kind of moons we might have. Now, I really do believe this is the moon, okay? The 330. I believe that is the moon. But explain this, if you would. Somebody, please. <laughs> now, on the uh, September 24th at 2.10 a.m. UTC, we had the object show up over here at about 50 degrees what, south latitude. I don't know. But what I want to see is if it showed up on the uh, western horizon too. So I'm going to back it up in time. Okay, apparently it's not really showing up over there too well. Okay, there it is actually. I don't know if you can see it, but it showed up just a little blip. Okay, so let's see what it looks like in cloud particle size. There it is over there. See, back it up. Okay, and there's a little blip over there. It's hard to see. Let's see what it looks like on natural fire temperature. Okay, that's at uh, 2 10 a.m. Okay, it's just a little blip. Okay, now let's go forward to the next day. At 1.50 a.m. UTC, it showed up on the shortwave window band over there at 1.50. Let's move it forward in time. We'll go over here. Okay, all it shows up is a black dark shadow over there at 3.10. Okay, let's go see what it looks like in cloud particle size on the 25th at 1.50 a.m. So let's go forward in time. I'm not really seeing it. Okay, so let's go into the natural fire color. I'm thinking, come on. There it is. 1.50 a.m., let's advance it in time. Okay, we're really not seeing it. 
Okay, so I guess my question is, we've got it on the, uh, let's see, we've got it on the 24th at 2.10 a.m. over there, and we've got it on the 25th at 1.50 a.m. over there, and we've got it on the 27th at 3.30 over there, UTC. Now, I'm pretty...